Hey associates, all right, so this is gonna be a ride along video, uh, basically of me creating the, like an example or going through the process for that template. Uh, okay, so now I am just hopping in, getting my music ready, of course, so I can focus, uh, and downloading my own local saved copy of the template um, that's provided just to help guide you in creating. You know, what information do we need for a good technical description? Um, and so I'm starting with that title. You can see I have to revise it a couple times. Remember, rapid ideation, being able to edit is the best way to get through any kind of block and ultimately create better content. And so now I'm going into that kind of audience persona. And so with your persona, you are trying to imagine a specific kind of subgroup of your potential target users and really figure out what are some of their characteristics. So do not let yourself say, oh, it's for everyone because things aren't for everyone, right? They are for, and in technical writing especially, we create things for specific users and characteristics, and they have very intentional, specific reasons and motivations. And so that's what you wanna capture in your audience and persona statement. Um, after you do that, I'm just going in, writing that definition. Again, the difference here is Dictionary definitions are a little generalized and vague. We want to go a step further in thinking about our target user. How do they need it defined? How are they going to be using this item, tool, concept, process, whatever it is that you are describing? And so we can do that with a general formula of this thing is a type of thing that has these features. And those features should absolutely relate to the purpose of that tool concept process and how our target user will be using it. Uh, the next kind of boxes are pretty straightforward. Just really think about, you know, a nice summary overview and then getting into the details of the component pieces. Um, as far as visuals, this is just a chance for you to think about a little bit of creativity. Um, and for this concept that I was describing is sketching. And so um, I'm kind of going through and I remember that I actually had some stuff that could be interesting, some pre-made um, content. So I'm just hopping through that. This is that nice creative process where you should just really pull from your experiences uh, and just come up with a quick mock-up, kind of a sketch, if you will, um, that you might then use later in your, you know, finished products. It's a great dumping ground for just any of those ideas. Um, and so I just, you know, added in some of these. One is a photo I took, you know, other ones are things that I have um, gotten uh, from various places. Um, but our goal there, right, understand, visualize the concept. And then I'm just creating some last you know, little notes um, and reference material, citations, just additional helpful resources for that target user. Welcome back. Hooray. Um, and so now I just want to talk through a little bit of, you know, what I, what I came up with. Um, and so the things that we have going on in here, right? Title. Keep it short, keep it, you know, direct. What is the concept? What is the thing that you're describing? For me, sketching as a writing tool, right? Make sure I identify the concept in itself, um, but try not to go too long. You know, keep your title nice and short and easy to consume. Definitely not more than nine words for your title. Aim for somewhere more in the range of three to five or six should do the trick. Um, then, audience right we did a lot of practice with audience and workshops so it's thinking about okay what is going to impact my choices later so for me what is my audience's deal that would find you know the sketching helpful beginner technical writers how much knowledge do they have maybe other genres but not as much with like our technical and information design right our design based work um, you know, it really benefits from sketching a lot more than, you know, writing a straightforward essay. Um, also, they're probably new to this idea of iterative design thinking. Again, for our field, we like to do iterative design, which is basically 
quickly come up with ideas, get feedback, talk it out, revise, revise, feedback, talk it out, revise, revise, revise. And you just do a lot of rounds of that, but it's a really rapid kind of quick thing to do to ultimately get better um, products that have kind of been thought through more times with more revisions and more feedback. Um, when would they find this useful? When they're starting new projects or when they've hit like writer's block um, or you know when they're trying to revise. It can be really helpful. That's when they might be using this um, tool. And then uh, why would they want it? because they need a new strategy to organize their ideas, right? And why do they want it? Because they really want some concrete examples on how, right, to go through this process. And so these decisions are gonna impact, and we'll see how they impact what I came up with. Um, but in terms of what I really need to write down, my persona statement, so if someone's like, why are you writing this thing about sketching? I can say, oh, because the target audience that benefits from sketching and this information I'm sharing are beginner technical writers who need a new way to organize ideas, layouts, and feedback to create project iterations or drafts, right? So you can see how my what's their deal, when do they need it, why do they want it, turned into one nice sentence here. Okay, then definitions in productive struggle through it. And as we learn about definitions, each of these boxes will get easier and easier to write. So as you do these templates, you'll start to see your own progress and how you're getting better. And if it continues to be like a struggle, even after we learn about all these things by like template four and five, yeah, that might be a cue that you should meet with me so we can really vi revisit how you're engaging with the materials and how we can practice some more. Um, but for, the, for you know these early ones, it's like, okay, try to write some definitions definitions um, and then you know we layer it in and get better and better so in this case you know our definition basically is what is the thing what is the thing what type of thing is the thing what makes it different so what is my thing sketching what type of thing is sketching it's a strategy for organizing ideas what makes sketching different than other types of strategies for organizing ideas it's different because we're using erasable formats to quickly capture ideas with a lot of doodles boxes shapes and words right so sketching is different than just outlining because there's more doodles and boxes and shapes and colors right um, so what makes it different? And then write a single definition. Sketching is a strategy in the drafting process where writers quickly capture their ideas by doodling, drawing, and brainstorming elements. A definition that you can share with people that gives them all the info they need. Uh, then we just do an overview paragraph. Again, what is sketching? Why is it helpful? What's kind of the big summary of this concept you're picking? In my case, right, it's Something that happens early in the drafting process to brainstorm and organize. So drawing on things like our definition and who would be helpful for our audience. Sketches should happen quickly. Writers should spend fewer than 10 minutes per sketch while trying to capture several options for the document. What makes them successful um, is that they get a general layout of the page, the mind map of all the ideas or the early concepts. And then because I identified my audience might need some really concrete examples because they're not familiar with this, in my summary I decided what would be helpful for the audience, let me add a concrete example. So we can think of a sketch like the initial concept art that video games or movies often release. The final look is usually similar but evolved from the initial concept art. A good sketch accomplishes the same goal for writers, right? So if you are a gamer, you've probably seen from your favorite game hey here is our early concept art and you'll see some of it is the same some of it has evolved think of it that way um, as well or you know if you're a star wars fan like every time the credits would roll for the mandalorian the things we put on the screen were the early concept art um, for that episode you see some similarities but you see some evolved forms so sketching is our early concepts that we build off of okay uh, components, explanations. This will just depend, you know, on what concept or tool you choose. Sometimes if it's more of a tool, you'll have more components as part of it. Other times you won't. If you pick like a genre of writing, right, you're gonna have to break down more pieces. What all goes into that genre? Um, so it just kind of depends, but try to come up with probably at least two or three um, kind of bullet points of 
what is the component and how, and how does it work? What makes sketching work? So in this case, you know, a dry erase board or mirror, also a notebook. Um, what other components are in sketching? We don't want too many details, just the high level plan of the topics, the outline, um, and other explanations of these components, right? We want it to be erased and changed. The most important feature is that it's fast and easy to change, okay? Then come up with a little mock-up of any visuals you can think of because in your final product you'll need to post some sort of visual for it. So I, I have these examples right of different sketching options with a little this could end up being my caption you know down the road so write out any potential notes or caption ideas again to help you. So you will take these templates and if you, you know, do a thorough job now, then when you go to do your final portfolio, you'll already have all the information that you need to then revise and iterate and, and make it even better um, based on feedback and just as you learn more. So I just talk about, you know, what these three types of sketches are, making sure they connect back to my overview and thinking about, again, my audience, really specific examples, need to explain it. They don't have a lot of knowledge about this. And then um, notes and context, just again, think of any anything else you can think of. Um, so this is super open-ended, but anything else that you can think of. So again, recommended tools. Here's why, you know, I recommend whiteboards or a whiteboard app. You need to be able to freehand draw. Any warnings, right? For sketching, a lot of people put too much pressure on their early sketches and they wanna like, really save them and make them all polished. And that is not a productive way to sketch, right? This is really, let me get a lot of ideas down, all my early ideas so I can see them and then make decisions on what's gonna work best or not. Uh, and then last, find at least one reference or further reading here. Uh, you know, you can use the things in Canvas. So I picked right this YouTube video where I first kind of talked about the sketching process and whiteboards as a way to also learn more strategy. So think about references, where are you getting the information for your template and where can you direct your audience to learn more about it? And again, think about who is the audience, what do they need, um, and that will help direct you in those references. All right, so this basic template and you getting used to being like title, audience, what's a good definition for it? What's a nice summary for it? What are all the features and the components of it? What are some visuals I might want to show them? You know, what are some warnings or tools they need? What are areas for further reading? Then you are gonna be able to describe any technical thing. So no matter where your job takes you, if you ever have to describe something complicated or technical somebody, go back to these skills that you're going to be practicing and repeating five different times in these templates um, because that's the type of information that leads to stronger descriptions. All right, I hope this walkthrough was helpful. Reach out with questions and I look forward to seeing what concepts you come up with. Bye, associates.